Sofer is the Hebrew word for a scribe. Sofer literally means someone who counts. And it's the term that we use for a scribe because our ancient Sofrim, our scribes, would count every single word and letter of the Torah. In this way, they could guarantee that nothing was left out. And so we find that already some 2,000 years ago, our Sofrim could tell us that in this week's parasha of Shmini, we have the middle words of the Torah and also the middle letter. There's an even number of words in the Torah, and the two middle words are featured in Vayikra, chapter 10, verse 16. They are darosh, darosh. He inquired, he asked. Isn't this quite remarkable? Right at the heart of the Torah, in the very center of what is presented to us, we are encouraged to engage in the drasha, to ask, to inquire, to dig deep in order to discover the valuable secret and outstanding lessons that the Torah can present to us. The middle letter of the Torah is also featured in this week's parsha. It is the Vav of Gachon in Vayikra chapter 11, verse 42. Vav is a Hebrew word which means a hook. Indeed, the Vav looks like a hook. It combines the first half and the second half of the Torah together, indicating that the entire Torah was given to us by Hashem at Mount Sinai. We now therefore know the first letter of the Torah is the Bet of Breshit, the last is the Lamed at the end of the word Yisrael, and the middle letter is our Vav. Together, Bet Vav Lamed makes the Hebrew word Bul, which means a postage stamp. And so I'd like to suggest that in the same way as a letter can only reach its desired destination if you have the right postage stamp on it, from the right country with the right denomination, so too, in our journey of life, as we aspire to enjoy meaningful and happy existences, we can only achieve those aspirations, reach our destination, if we put the Torah on our hearts and within our minds. Thanks to Hashem, we have the ultimate postage stamp to get us to our destination. It is the Torah. And if we embrace it and learn its ways of life, we will please God achieve lives of happiness, of meaning, of joy and fulfillment upon this earth. Shabbat Shalom.